and welcome to Grandad Reviews. Today we're going to have a look at the new software that Fuji's just released, which turns your Fuji X camera into a webcam using the USB port. Now it is only compatible with Fuji cameras that's got tethering as one of the options in the connection menu. So that's your X-T2, 3, 4, GFXs and some of the X-Pro Pro series. So just check if you've got tethering on the menu then you should be able to use it. Fortunately it's not going to be for you X-T30 and 20 owners and the XA range as they haven't got uh, tethering in there. We'll have a look at what settings you need to set on the camera, what software you need to download, installing it, getting it running in OBS. We'll look at its limitations and its quality. So first off we'll get the software downloaded. So we'll get over to the computer and uh, start over there. So let's head for the computer. Right, so we need to go to the Fuji website. And for support, download software and firmware. Go to software, and we've got this Fujifilm webcam. So I'll click on this. And I say we've got a compatibility chart on here. <coughs> so these are the cameras that it's compatible with, and the OS, and it's for Windows at the moment. And then there's a how to use guide. So we agree to the download. And we'll save it and it downloads and it's downloaded. So we'll just unzip that and there we are. And all we need to do now is install it on the computer. So we'll uh, get the setup. Let's get rid of some of these boxes. We'll agree. Start installation. And away it goes. Close. Now we have to restart our system now to uh, actually finish the installation. So let's just do that. Right, I've got the software loaded on the computer. Now let's set the camera up. Now I'm going to set it up as per the instructions on the website. So what it's saying is we need to be in S for single stills on mode there. I want to be on fully auto, so auto shutter, auto ISO, auto on the lens. In the menus in the camera, what we need to go to, to the AF settings, we put it on pre-AF on. We want the front guard to be on S for single shot. If you want to do eye and face detect, so we'll go uh, eye auto, so we've got that on, and then in connection modes, connection settings, connection mode, that's going to be USB tether shooting auto. I'd also recommend in there under power management put auto power to off otherwise you're going to find the camera shut down on you if you're if you're sitting there doing nothing so we'll do that that's our camera set up you can obviously set whatever um, film simulation you want to do so let's put the film simulation on the Turner, I think. So we've got it on the Turner, got it on fully auto, and tether shooting. So let it get it connected to the computer. So we've got the XT3 there connected. Well, the USB cable to the computer. All right, we'll try OBS. So we're in OBS here. We'll switch the camera on. 
And to check it's connected, if you open uh, a file browser up and go to My PC, you should see XT3 there. And that will show you connected. So we're in OBS. We'll add video capture device. We'll call it Fuji. Okay. And there's the Fuji webcam. Everything's on its default. Go OK. And this is one I found with OBS. It doesn't work. There's nothing. Let me just get rid of that. I'll come out of OBS. If we bring... Oh, this is vMix. I add an input. Camera. Fuji camera. Leave it at it. Everything at its defaults. Go OK. We have a picture. But it is very jerky. Does seem to be uh, focusing. Add a bit more light. So yes, it is working. I say it doesn't work in OBS. Um, don't know why. I would have thought it'd be the same. But here we are. Camera set on auto. Focusing is working on the pre-AF with the eye and face detect yeah so yeah we've got that picture let's just see if we can change anything this time there is a H.264 low latency I was going to try that no, it don't seem too bad uh, I can add an audio and let's see if we can pick up the audio audio input there, on built in audio, I don't seem to have any audio, so I'm not picking up any audio with vMix. So, on vMix, you would have to add an audio import, which would be my that one there. So, now I've got audio coming in. So that would be my audio. So you're going to have to have a separate audio input uh, to get audio in vMix. So that's vMix and as you can see there is latency. Uh, let's just do it. If you're going to do it at defaults not too bad it works it's not high high quality so let's try it as a Facebook one that'll be our idea let's have a go so we'll call out this remix so we're going to Facebook and apparently Facebook Go live. We'll allow to use your camera. And it doesn't pick up. The Facebook doesn't pick up the uh, that. Let's start a meeting here. Yes. So we got settings. So I can pick uh, my Mo2 M2 input, but I can't pick up the audio from the camera. The video. <coughs> 
resolution to 720. Done. So yeah, there you go. In Gmail, you can use it. It picks it up. I think what you're going to have to do, basically, is check in whichever software you're going to use whether the webcam gets picked up and you're also going to have to check if your audio is um, <clears throat> so obviously in this case it doesn't pick up any audio from the webcam from the, the Fuji camera it's just picture so you're going to need some kind of microphone either on your laptop or maybe a USB input device I've got the Moto M2 but it could be anything else but I say, yeah, the video works. Doesn't work in OBS for some unknown reason. Does work in vMix. Works in Gmail. You'd have to try it on Zoom and the others and see what you get. I haven't got Zoom, so I don't know. So let's come out of this one. Let's see if it does it in YouTube. Go live. Go live. So here we are, YouTube Live. And this is the quality you would expect. To be honest, is it any better than a normal webcam? Not really. Okay, okay quality, but it's not brilliant. Right, I'll tell you what, we will try then. We'll come out of this and the stream. Right, what we will do is turn off the camera and See if we can change any of the settings or we'll set it up how we want to set it up. So here we are back in vMix. I'll we'll add the input webcam. Now we're on manual settings. Now can we change anything? So let's change the ISO. No. So it makes no difference whatsoever. We're in manual settings, we can't change them. Um, let's try the shutter speed. No, exposure compensation. No. So that's why they're recommending you doing it on all fully auto, because you can't change anything once you've set the camera off. So that's my look at the new Fuji webcam software. Yeah, it works as a webcam. Is it any better quality than a normal webcam? Hard to say, I don't think so. Um, you can't use it in OBS. vMix you can. Gmail you can. YouTube you can. Facebook you can't. Uh, you just have to test whatever software and it doesn't seem to pick up the audio in my testing anyway so if you know any different please put the, it in the comments below and other than that yep, it works on a webcam as a basic webcam if you've got nothing else to go with uh, you can't pick up a capture card then yep it works but I say you just can have tried in your own different software you want to use and see uh, uh, if you can get it to work any better that's my look at the Fujifilm webcam software. If you like the video give it a thumbs up, give it a thumbs down. If you want to see more videos like this hit the subscribe button. If you want to be notified hit that bell button. Till next time see you later.